Holy s***. This is the coolest <laughs> goddamn thing. TV. Wow. The hell? He's got some tubs meat on that one. Well, it's not really tub, there's just all tires hanging out. We should go find that and interview him. Well, you've got not much battery life left on this thing. No, I've got a spare battery and I've got this camera, so. Hi, my name is Ron Howell. I live in uh, Chandler, Arizona. This car you see behind me is a, a one-off creation uh, between me and my sons. We wanted something different. We wanted something outside the box, but we also wanted something that was reliable and still drivable. This car actually has two Volkswagen air-cooled engines in the front of it that are coupled together as one. So instead of it being a flat four, now it's a flat eight. Each motor is a 2332cc motor. Combined together, it comes out to almost a 4.8 liter. About as much built as it can be on the inside. It runs into a Tremec five-speed, and it has a uh, Kennedy double-disc clutch that mates the two together. And it goes back into a Ford nine-inch rear end with 411 gears with a Detroit locker. So in the engines themselves, what sort of compression and so forth are we Compression's running Compression's running about 9.6. And uh, what are you running fuel-wise and what sort of estimated power you think? It's just, uh, it's just pump fuel, it's 91 octane. Uh, last time it was dynoed, it's a little over 300 horse and almost 400 foot-pounds of torque at the rear wheels. So what was your inspiration with the build? I mean, it's super cool. It's obviously gasser style, but... My son was the one who came up with the gasser idea. Uh, we got his car done first. This body was sitting in my backyard and I asked him what should we do with it. He said to me, I've never seen a gasser square back. Our original build was supposed to have a 454 big block in it. He called me a week later and said, you know, we could put a big block in anything. How about if we put the air cool motor in the front, It'd be something different. I'm like, that would be cool. I said, hey, what if we put two up there? He said, that'd be even better and came up with this. And I mean, how did you go with all the, the sort of sync up? It all sort of worked out pretty easy. So the motors are actually, they're, they're linked together uh, to the crankshaft. They are, uh, Volkswagen fires every 180 degrees of revolution. So the back motor is actually clocked in between the rear motor. So that it staggers the timing on them. So it, it fires a cylinder every 90 degrees of rotation, just like a V8. Awesome. No, it's such a cool car, man. And Thank you. What sort of, um, what have you done with the car so far? And I know it's been around for a while, but... Um... That's pretty much it. I mean, it's been to a lot of shows. It almost became a Hot Wheels. It's had two front covers. It's been in three different magazines. You know, I, I, I just built it for the oddity alone. It was never meant to be on the drag strip either. A lot of people, you know, want to know what it does in the quarter mile. It's never been on the drag strip, but it's been guesstimated at low tens. And um, do you have ambitions of taking it to the drag strip? Not really. I mean, a uh, paint job's expensive, and it only takes a second to ruin it. Honestly, uh, when I built it, I only built it for the oddity. I didn't really concern about the speed. It is fast for what it is, um, but it, that was a byproduct of, of building the car. It's a real testament to you and your and your sons. It's like thank you. Yeah, it's very cool. So. Any uh, future builds in the plans? We do have, I have a, a one, my son's got one. We're kind of keeping them a little quiet for now. One of them is going to be another, uh, potentially another Volkswagen, another Beetle. Uh, the other one is going to be a Blazer that he wants to do for his girlfriend. Um, but his car is, is definitely distinctive as well. So. Nice. Well, firstly, shame on Hot Wheels for not making it a Hot Wheels car. <laughs> but um, secondly, how do people find out more about this car? And, and um, I have online? an Instagram page, it's HHH Customs. Um, I don't do much on Facebook, but um, I think the uh, Instagram page links it to my Facebook as well. But that would be where you can find some more pictures. And s not many, but there is some pictures there, and there is some information about it and a couple small videos. Awesome, man. Now, finally, can I, I want to see what it looks like with the, uh, the hood shot, but also, can we hear what it sounds like? Absolutely. Awesome. Fire it up and we'll uh, have a listen. <laughs> Thank you, sir.
Oh no, oh my god, dude. Holy sh Yeah. That's what everyone says, isn't it? <laughs> right. What do you think of that? F***ing amazing. This is the coolest <laughs> goddamn thing. Like I said, I love the square back. I had a I chop top mine and did oh, everything okay. else back in the years, back in the days of original bug runs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I remember that. Dude. Did you Frankenstein this I did. Ground up. Holy sh Dude, I gotta take this. <laughs> My dad. <laughs> old Volkswagen guy. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> you ain't kidding, man. My dad will dig this thing. It looks like I'm struggling, but it just takes a lot to close it. Struts, yeah. And meanwhile, there's a shock wheel based combi. He's split window. Gas struts are mainly for opening it, not so much closing. And you can tell he's doing it slowly and carefully because he's almost scratching it inside. The wheelbase on my bus is 48 inches. I shortened Stanley four feet. Now tell me, what was the inspiration behind it? What's it like to drive? Well, it, it drives pretty normal for the most part. Um, you, you have to stay on top of the steering wheel, so because when things happen with him, it's very quick. The inspiration is I had done, back in the 70s, a bus shortened because that was the end thing in California and uh, everybody was doing it. So me being in Colorado said, we got to copy that. And we did a bus and then I always wanted to do a truck. And uh, I started Stanley in 1983. Nice, and how long has the build been? Well, I did some stuff to him in 83, got them shortened. Then I couldn't figure out how to fix something I'd done to it and did not work on it again until 2010. Yeah. 2010, my wife got mad at me, told me I needed to pick a project. She's looking over your shoulder right now. Yes, she <laughs> is. And she said that bus would be awful cute. So 18 months later, I had him up and running and done. Oh. It is 100% home built. Yep. I painted it in my driveway with a Harbor Freight paint gun. Wow. Very, very cool. All the body work, I did it all. I built the engine, all the chassis work. My wife actually sewed the interior. Oh, that's amazing. And what's, uh, what engine's in it? It is a 2180cc Volkswagen air-cooled. Yep. It's a pretty old school style build, real kind of mellow, more for torque and to keep up with modern traffic. And I heard over out of the uh, corner of my ear before, a weird expression, but uh, it's been down the drag strip? Uh, yes, it has. It's not fast, but it it has pulled the front wheels at the drag strip and, and at Bandermere, which is, is 5,600 feet in elevation, it runs 17 O's, which isn't, you know, killer fast, but modern car equivalent. Yeah, exactly. That's awesome. So how do we find out more about Stanley? Uh, Stanley is actually a public figure on Facebook. Just look up Stanley the Short Bus and he's on Facebook. Awesome. Have an awesome weekend. All right, you too. Thank you. Cool.